Welcome to the Windows channel and today we'll take a little look, a quick tour of the film and TV app. Um, for you it might be called movies and TV, it depends on the market where you live. Basically the uh, film or movies and TV app is the default video player and also an app for purchase of TV shows um, and movies. So you can get it of course in your list of programs if you go to the proper section you'll see it here it's film and TV for me so it's an F movies and TV you can also bring it up by asking Cortana uh, by typing film or movie depending on the name that you have and here is what happens you get this uh, page where you've got films that you can rent um, you can have TV shows that you can rent or buy this is the default of what you have here. You also have this player as a default player for your videos. So if you click for example the video section it's going to show you the videos in the video folder and that's very important. Where do you get the videos to view here? They have to be part of the video folder in your uh, file Explorer. So when you go to the File Explorer and you look at different folders, one of the folders that you have is called Videos. Everything that you put here and that are videos that you can actually uh, play will show up on the movies or film and TV app. They will synchronize automatically. So for example, I've added three files to uh, demonstrate a little bit uh, to you guys. And when I clicked on film and TV to open it it simply told me oh I'm adding three files that I see are not there so um, there's also an option here it says not seeing your stuff change where we look if you click here you can modify your storage settings so the download location for the device the videos choose where we look for videos you can click here too and say I want to add uh, say the desktop where I often put videos that I make. So desktop, add this folder to videos. And this will let me, of course, choose the different folders where the app will be looking for future reference. So once you've chosen all of your different folders that you wanted, the uh, videos will be, of course, shown here on this section. So for example here I chose desktop, it wants to add one video to the video list that I have. So here we've added all videos on this device, one video has been added. So basically uh, this is where it happens. By default if you have no other video player it is the film and TV player that will play your video so you can you know double click on any videos in your different folders it's gonna open the player if you go on to uh, any files if you have any other default player and you want to use the film and TV you can also go and right click on the file so here I'm gonna go in my videos folder here I want to once again start the video of my cat right click and you see that open with film and TV is there it's also, like I said, the default, so if you have no, no other player installed, this is the new default video player. It plays quite a lot of video formats, but yet it's not perfect. And so um, what happens is that you will often need a third-party player. I've, I installed Pod Player because I like that. You can install VLC. Uh, to complete. I like it like that, but uh, for maybe most people this will be enough. So uh, that's pretty much what the film and TV app is all about. It's basically your default player. And uh, in the next video I'm going to show you when you're playing a video the different options that you have uh, as not to jam pack too much stuff and also we'll take a look at the settings that you have for your uh, film and TV or movies and TV app in Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. 
If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully, you'll continue watching us on this channel.